what I can mention is that there have been a couple of mines that come to mind where, you know, these, these sites were coming to a closure where they had nothing left to mine because they, they were at end of life of mine. The other option is, is that they have, if they could remove the water from the pit, they would actually increase their life of mine. So for them, the return on investment is an absolute no brainer. What they do is, is that they have a big pit, right? So they finish mining in one section. They're coming towards a, another section of the mine, but it's full of water because it's never been touched, full of rainwater. They've pumped water. They've transferred it to this section because they never anticipated on actually mining that area. Yeah. But then when a you know geology team or the hydrologist team have come in and they've done their tests, they realize actually there's a lot of coal or there's a lot of metals there. We actually need to access that point. So what happens is then they, they scramble, they scratch their heads and think, we've got all this water. We've got billions, billions of gallons of water that we need to remove. If we do remove it, it might cost us a fortune in the traditional methods. Mm. But if we could think of a way to remove that at a cost-effective way, it's actually going to give us another 10 years of life of mine. And the return on investment is millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars. So that's where mine tech really come into play, right? We're able to remove this water out of that pit for them at a very quick rate where it can pretty much take them to dryness. They can then remine that section of the pit, increase their life of mine, and that's the solution. 